All right, folks, it's, how are you doing? Just a quick video. Um, yeah, I've got to turn the computer off in a minute because if they've got that prayer meeting tonight, then it would be useful to actually have the cam working. Although, to be honest, would I rather people didn't see me? Yep. <laughs> so, do I really care if the cam's working? Nope. <laughs> but I've got to at least say I made an effort, right? If it ain't working, I say, look, I'll turn the computer off to try and fix it tonight. But, um... So I've got to do that. I'm not going to lie about it. So, there you go. Uh -huh. Got us to do that. Right, okay. This video in title is We are supposed to pray to the Father. We are supposed to have relationship with the Father. Everything the Lord pushed towards was Father. It wasn't about relationship with Him. It was about relationship with Father. No one comes to the Father except through me. We're supposed to come to the Father. Through the Lord, through Yeshua, the Son of God. We're supposed to come to the Father, Yahweh. It's about having a relationship with Yahweh, not Yeshua. We're supposed to pray to the Father. Because Yeshua said, and when you pray, pray to the Father, our Father who art in heaven. Bing! Who are we supposed to pray to? Father. Who's the glory given to? Father. Who did he give the glory to all the time? Father. In whose name? Father. We've been misguided to pray to Yeshua in the name of Yeshua, to the glory of Yeshua. At the end of the prayer we say, for your glory. Who's Yeshua? Glory is supposed to go to the Father. It's supposed to be in His name. It's about bringing people to him. That's the reason why Yeshua came. To bring people to the Father. Because no one comes to the Father except through him. He had to come. Because it's about us having relationship with Father. Not with him. Not with the Lord. Yet we sing songs to the Lord. But dominantly, our relationship is with Yeshua, not with Yahweh. Who's taught us that? The church. And the writers of songs and other bits and pieces and books and stuff. They've all been leading us in the wrong direction. It's all about bringing people to a relationship with Father God. It's to His glory. It's in his name. So when we pray for healing, it says, by your stripes you were healed. That's already done. You don't need to pray and ask God to heal you in the name of his son. Excuse me, God saying, excuse me. First of all, you're asking me to heal you. You've already been healed. Secondly, you're asking me to heal you in the name of my son, even though it's in my name, not his. Because the son did it in whose in whose name? Who did the son do everything in whose name? The father. So therefore it's done in the name of the father, not the son. Because when the son points to the father, why on earth are we pointing to the son? It's through a lack of understanding. See, when I say the church has got it so wrong... It's because the church has got it so wrong. It's insane. How wrong the church has got it is just insane. But it's no surprise. Yeah, I'm just uploading the video now. 
well, I'm not onto YouTube, but um, I'm editing it. I've just fin finished the editing. Has the devil been training the leaders among the church? Mm. It's a fair question. Look at the evidence. Don't look at it from an emotional point of view. Look at it from an evidence point of view. Look at the evidence. Look at the fruit. Just look at the fruit. Look at the fruit of the church. In most churches, when was the last time anybody received healing? When was the last time anybody received the baptism of the Holy Spirit? In the church. I'm not talking about out the church, just by the Holy Spirit doing all the work. But when was the last time there was a manifestation of the Holy Spirit in your church? Oh, is it because God's tired? He just wants a break. Hey, is it because God's you know fed up of performing in your church? No. It's because the devil has designed church. Pretty much every church with the same pattern, doing things the same way to keep God out. And God's people are saying, Christy, we like it. You know, it's only Sunday morning. Some churches may still do two services. Not a big deal though, is it really? Per week. No, not really, not a big deal at all. So am I judging people? No, not in any way, shape or form. So I'm part of it, am I? I'm part of it. So did I know to a certain degree all those years? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. But was I walking according to where I should be walking? Was I you know, focusing on relationship with father, not son? Nope. No. No, as I say, I've only been coming into understanding of this over the past four weeks. Four to five weeks. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I say I can't blame other people for you know for where they are because I was in the position they are for 27 years. And God gave me the, the, the vision and the dream. So there was less excuse for me than there was for other people, really. Certainly my understanding, I'd be expecting more of me since as as God gave me that, that vision and dream. You know, God put his church in my heart, so should I have a desire for him? Should I have been going to God constantly about that? Yeah, was I? Not constantly. On and off, I was writing this thing called Back to Christian Basics, and I got stuck on it. Yeah, you know, I did about um, four chapters. Got part way through, and then just, no, it didn't move. Just stay where it was, because that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Yeah. So, yeah. So the reality is, is that when I look at all of that, I look at it from the point of view that, you know, I'm the same. I don't look at these people and say, you should be doing better. No more than I've looked at me and said that I should have been doing better. Which actually I did. You know, to be fair, yeah, I did. You know, I had a lot of time, certainly when God helped me to understand Last 27 years, yeah. I had a lot of time where my heart was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a mess. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of heartache and pain and guilt and shame and, yeah. Yeah. That's the reality, isn't it, really? Indeed, yes. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, as I say, I still don't judge other people, even though I judge myself. It doesn't mean I can judge other people. It just means, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand how easy it is to be led in the wrong direction. I do understand that. I understand how easy it is to think you're serving God, but you're not. Two years I was doing videos. Going down the park doing the videos while walking the dogs or going down the stinky woods or fairy village woods. Talking about things, I was sure this is what God wanted me doing. You know, talking about building a relationship with God. Talking about being guided by the Holy Spirit. I was certain this was God. No, because even when I was talking about building a relationship with God, I was not talking about building a relationship with Father. I was talking about the understanding that everyone I had in church, basically. Had it been God, he'd been talking to me about this stuff. About talking about that. So no, I, I, I certainly don't blame anyone else for where they are. I mean, I have to say the same thing to you as God said to me. You know, you haven't received it because you haven't received it. When you're when it's your time to receive it, you'll receive it. Simple as that. That's the way God said to me. You know, he said, Stop beating yourself up. You know, you didn't receive it till now because you weren't meant to. Okay. Yeah. It's always the case when God says to me, stop beating yourself up. It always takes about four or five days for me to stop. <laughs> I sort of say, okay, and then it's a process. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But that's okay. But as I say, that's why I, I don't look at other people. I don't pass judgment on other people. Yeah. Because that isn't the way we should be doing things. Not in any way, shape or form. I don't care who's to blame. I couldn't care less. Not in any way, shape or form. What I care about is who's going to help us to get where we need to get. That's all that matters. Who's going to help us to go from A to B? Simple. Yeah, who's willing to put the work in to get us from there to there? When the call comes to raise your hand and to stand up and be counted, who's going to do that? What's happened in the past? I don't care. That's the past. Can you go back and change it? If you can go back and change your past and you haven't done so, then you are to blame. Right, then you deserve all the guilt and shame that you're going to get. Because you could have changed your past, but you didn't. You could have gone back and changed it, but you didn't. Now, with most people, we can't go back and change things. We just have to put up with the fact that we weren't there yet. Yeah? We just weren't there yet. And if that's the case, then that's just the case, isn't it, really? Yeah. Give yourself a break. In the end, we have no idea. Yeah. What we don't know, there's so much that we don't know. There's so much that I haven't got a clue about. It's unbelievable how much I don't know. So can I have a go at other people for not knowing sense now? No, not in any way, shape or form. It's quite likely if I if I get involved with this prayer meeting tonight, I won't actually say anything. I had a shower, and when I'm in the shower, I was oh, like, I could pray about this. I could pray about that, I could pray about this. I realise it's not about me. It is not about me in any way, shape or form. It really is not about me. So if it's not about me, sit down, shut up, just 
yeah, if God really pushes you to pray about something, pray about that. Simple as that. Yeah. Otherwise, don't. There really is no need in any way, shape or form. There you go. You take care. God bless. I will speak to you soon. I think I'll come to the end of the world. Look, pray about the situation. Pray about what I've been speaking about. Don't just take my word for it. Pray about it. Seek God. Go to Father. Seek Father. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Certainly, look, don't ever take anything I say as gospel. Even if I'm reading from gospel. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm beginning this relationship with God as a son of his. Now, hopefully in... Oh, God knows how long. As soon as possible. Hopefully in as soon as possible, I can walk as Christ walked. How long that's going to take, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea whatsoever as to how long that's going to take. Well, at the moment, everything is taking longer. You know, dogs coming back, wifey situation, everything is taking longer than I expected. So, would this take longer? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the case and that's the case. Will you take care? God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.